Welcome to my channel, Angel Says Art. I am finally starting my new series called Paint and Coffee. I wanted to do my own series of painting with coffee because I love coffee and I love painting, but also I didn't see a whole lot of channels on YouTube doing kind of like a coffee and paint kind of thing or coffee and drawing. For those of us who can't just leave and go to a cafe and set up and record ourselves for a couple of hours painting or drawing. Um, as you all know, if you've watched my other videos, I'm a mom of three. I am a housewife and artist. And so I don't always have the luxury of leaving the house to go set up and spend all that time at a coffee shop. And so I said, I'm going to work with what I have. And what I have is a kitchen and I have a coffee bar in my house and I have beautiful light coming through the window. And I'm going to use my beautiful Formica 1950s kitchen table to do my art on. And I'm happy about it. So welcome and come and join me. Once I dropped off my three kids at school, I was able to come back, prepare myself a cup of coffee, and shortly thereafter begin preparing the studio for the morning time to record. I had recently been working a whole lot on finishing, painting my body of work, submitting items to sort of uh, competitions at galleries, um, submitting my paintings to gallery shows and I started to realize that I was beginning to feel like artist burnout and I wasn't quite there to full-on burnout but I was feeling myself getting there and so it was time for me to slow down and do something that I enjoy. I had recently taken a small trip where we came across a pond and there were ducks in this pond and they were being really funny and they were kind of showing off for us and they kept diving and their little butts kept going up in the air and I shot some photographs and I said, you know, I'm going to have to do something with this because it was just so lovely and so wholesome. So that brings us to this morning. I said, you know what, I'm not going to focus on any of the work that I've been doing, I'm going to focus on something that's fun, something that's funny. When I look at the image, I laugh. It's cute. And I'm going to do that today. And honestly, who doesn't love duck butts? I think duck butts, everybody needs duck butts in their life. I want to take this moment to acknowledge doing things that are fun and wholesome and that make you feel good and f may help you have less stress in your life as an artist. I did want to take this opportunity in this video to talk about something that may be hard for some artists. Uh, while you watch me draw and create this awesome piece of artwork that will make you smile. 
I do want to talk about some of the hardships of being an artist and I want to talk a little bit about artist burnout, uh, artist expectation, whether that be from other people or from ourselves and also imposter syndrome. All of those things can be downers. But I think that even though they can get us down and maybe they're, some people feel they're not so positive, I think that we have to tackle them as artists. And one of the ways of doing that is talking about it. If we don't start talking about things that affect artists, then how do we ever grow as artists? And I think artists need more outlets. I began to notice that I was beginning to experience artist burnout when I was becoming scatterbrained, everything was getting all over the place for me and things were starting to get jumbled up because I'm trying to run my Etsy shop and I'm also building a body of work that I want to continue building on so that I have a body of work to submit to galleries and competitions and things of that nature. And I'm also trying to balance that with sometimes doing art for myself, art that I enjoy producing, not producing art in order to make money or to put it somewhere, to submit it somewhere. And I'm beginning to realize that there is a very fine line when it comes to balancing out your time between all of these things. I did begin to notice that I was beginning to feel worn down. I was beginning to feel more tired. Uh, I was recognizing that maybe I was not taking care of myself to the best of my ability. I noticed more that I wasn't getting outside. I wasn't getting enough sun. I wasn't taking enough breaks. I wasn't sitting down and just enjoying something for the sake of enjoying it even if it was just for a few minutes. I had gotten off balance with my personal meditation. There were things that were falling by the wayside because I was obsessed with what I was doing. Painting duck butts was an idea I came up with because it made me happy and really I think refocusing on the things that make you happy as an artist are extremely important I began to become overwhelmed with social media maintaining like a social media presence and being a content creator for my art battling with Keeping up with that on TikTok and Instagram, along with actually being the one that needs to create the paintings and the content that I talk about. And I was becoming overwhelmed with how to split up my time and where to put my energy. And I just realized I was kind of becoming over it. And I said, you know what, I'm going to take a day. And I'm not going to focus on that anymore. And I've been taking those days a lot more often. Um, and I think that it's super important. I would be lying if I said that I don't feel pressure. I feel a lot of pressure that I put on myself. But... It's so easy to feel pressure, like from the outside, from the outside world. I do look at social media and I see people who are established artists who are way further ahead in what they're trying to do than I am. And I have moments where I feel down. Um, I've recently submitted some of my pieces to online exhibitions and, you know, I was rejected and it's hard when you get rejected. I want people to understand that it's 
I don't think it gets easy. I think you just, you keep pushing and you keep enduring. And I feel like that's kind of where I'm at. I haven't been doing this very long, but I've been doing this long enough to realize that you're gonna have a whole lot of no's and a whole lot of people saying that they don't like what you do or that they don't think that you're right for something. And I've realized for all those people that say that, there are so many more who love what you do and are really into your style and your vibe. And I think that's what I'm currently living off of right now. I try not to compare myself to others because you can't, you can only be uniquely who you are. And I keep reminding myself about that when it comes to my art, that yes, my art is not gonna be for everyone, but someone is gonna love it. And you know, that's what keeps me going. Let's talk about putting yourself out there as an artist. Oh man, that is really tough. I've known, you know, lots of artists in my life and I know that certain people feel certain ways about it in varying degrees. And I have to say that I fall in the place of, um, I get anxiety and I get worried, but I'm the type of person that won't let it stop me. I'll still push myself, but that doesn't mean I'm not uncomfortable, but I know that there are some artists out there where putting your work out there on social media, for instance, or just doing the sort of look at my stuff, look at me makes people painfully uncomfortable. I know that some people just feel pulled back by it. It gets in their way. A lot of these feelings can be explained by imposter syndrome. A lot of us oftentimes feel like imposters in what we're doing. That sort of fake it till you make it kind of idea, but we feel like we're faking it all the time. Almost to the point where we don't feel worthy or we don't feel that we are good enough or that our art is not good enough for somebody to possibly care about it or want it or even more want to spend money on it. We can't possibly believe that our stuff is desirable to someone and they would want to buy it from us. Imposter syndrome is something that I think all artists deal with. I think conquering imposter syndrome is just about recognizing in the first place that you struggle with believing in yourself and you struggle with believing that your art is worth it that it's worth people's time and then start really thinking about why you feel this way i started journaling sometimes about my feelings when i would feel unworthy or i would feel scared journaling about my imposter syndrome really really did help me I truly had so much fun filming this and making this piece. I hope you all enjoyed the talk that we had on here and enjoyed watching me make this piece. And it's actually become quite popular. My art became prints and I sell five by seven prints on my Etsy shop. And it's actually one of my best sellers. So, Thank you for the support. 
Thank you for supporting my channel. Check me out on my social media. There will be a link to my Etsy shop in the description. See you at the next coffee and paint. Peace.